Well, then I'm going to be finishing up the... <laughs> Some peace and quiet, huh? I'm trying to film. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the jet boat rebuild. Now today in this video, we're going to work on getting the bulkheads. Yep, you heard that right. Two of them installed up into the bow. And also I need to make some lateral supports to help strengthen these stringers, finish my engine box. In addition, I'm going to be making a mount for my battery and also a mount for my place diverter pump. And really the aim of this video is to finish and finalize all of the woodwork in this boat so we can move on to other aspects of the build. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I'm going to install two bulkheads rather than just one up in the bow. But unfortunately, I just finished this glass work on the floor last night and the fiberglass is still a little bit tacky, so I can't really crawl up into the bow. I need to make my templates. I'm going to show you guys what and why I'm doing it. So we're going to jump to that a little bit later in the video once this has some time to cure up. So what I'm going to jump into to start with is I'm going to go ahead and finish up this woodwork back here on the back of the what I call engine box on the stringers. Now, if you recall in my last video, when I marked out where to end this floor, I had the back seat in and I used the back edge of the back seat to where this floor ended. So you can see my old marks where I marked that. And if I run this level across there, is what I have planned is I want to make a engine box. Essentially where the engine sits, it has its own bilge, everything's sealed up and nothing really left to be open. Now I'm doing this for a little bit of extra strength and also aesthetics. So in order to do this, I'm gonna run a two by six, essentially in between the stringer and the stringer on the back edge of the floor under the level. So that's a pretty simple cut, just a um, rectangle piece of wood. I'll go ahead and mark those and get that cut. But in addition, I'm gonna run some lateral supports out here that extend out and end right before this angle for the gas tank. They're gonna run on the floor. They're gonna be at the same height as the top of the stringers. And is what I'm trying to achieve with those, if there's any movement out here on the outside of the boat, if it's pushing up on the floor and wanting the twist, it's going to take that force, push it into the stringer, and then the stringers will be tied together back here at the center support and to the other side. So I'm just trying to increase the rigidity of the boat and stiffen everything up. Part of this plays in with the extra bulkheads that I'm going to do up in the bow, but again, we'll cover that in a little bit. Now we're going to be jumping around a little bit on this video because I'm going to cut all the wood, have everything fit, and then I'm going to do all the installing and fiberglassing all at once. I don't really want to be messing with the dry time, dealing with tacky surfaces like I have here. So I'm going to get all my wood, finalize the fitment, same thing for the bulkheads, and hopefully do one last hoorah of fiberglass work on the wood, and then we can move on to the other parts of the boat. So I'm going to start getting this wood cut, and once we get some wood mocked up in here, we're going to come back and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, at the end of last weekend I was able to finish up all the rough cuts of these boards and you can see here now what I'm working towards. I have this center board that I talked about which will complete the engine box and I have these lateral supports on either side which are going to transfer any of the movement inward through this board and across the entire boat. In addition, I'll have a finished engine box here that will be isolated from the rest of the boat which I didn't have before. Now on top of that, this is the back edge of the seat, so I'm also going to be able to use these lateral supports and this board to help bolt the seat in, rather than only relying on the stringers. Like I mentioned, this was all done last weekend, so now my fiberglass is actually dry on the center of the floor of the boat, and I need to kind of stop where I'm at on this part of the project, and I need to go ahead and start working on the bulkheads. The reason why I need to do that is because I'm going to do more of these lateral supports further up in the boat, but my placement is going to be dictated on the placement of all the bulkheads. Everything's not really finalized or I haven't decided where everything's going to be and they all kind of play off one another. So I'm going to go ahead and place in the old bulkheads in the boat just so I have some strength and support and then I'm going to start showing you how and where I'm going to map out my new ones and some of the considerations I'm working around.
So I had to do a little bit of trimming on the original bulkheads, and that's because I moved the stringers out wider and they would have interfered. So I just cut little notches in them and that allowed me to position them. I'm not going to keep these bulkheads. They're only in there now to give the bow the stability and height that I need. And also I didn't like where they were positioned. So by putting them in now, it gives me a good reference point of where they were and where I put my new ones to be sure that I correct the problems that I didn't like. You'll also notice that I placed the seat in the boat. I even threw the gas pedal in. I have those mocked up so that way I was sure that the new bulkheads aren't going to interfere with the gas pedal. I'm going to like where they sit when I'm in the boat driving it. I even went as far as dragging a ski out, getting it placed in there and being sure that the ski is going to sit where I want in relation to the bulkheads and I'll have enough room for it up under the bow. So now that I have all that done, I got the location of the new bulkheads ironed out. So let's go ahead and crawl under the bow. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and why I'm going to do it. Okay, now that we're down here, you can see where I took the existing bulkheads, I notched them out to clear our new wider stringers, and I have them fitting just wedged in place. Also take note of the subpar craftsmanship on the fit of the old bulkheads. That is just one of the reasons why I'm making new ones. The other main reason, again, removing them. I felt that these bulkheads are too far forward on the boat. It didn't leave much room in the front of the bulkheads to place any skis or tubes and it left too much awkward space in between the occupant's feet and the bulkhead. So I want to bring these bulkheads backwards some. Now, this boat, since it's 20 feet long, I have quite a bit of bow. So by bringing those bulkheads rearward, I know that I'm going to induce more flex and less stability on the front of the bow. So I need to do something about that. Now, I will mention with just these one bulkheads where they're placed now, there was no problems. It was quite sturdy up there. It would shake a little when we hit a lot of chop and have a little bit of movement, but not too much. But I'm going to go ahead and be moving these backward, which is going to gain me more space. I can get my skis further up. It'll be easier to store the life jackets and other equipment. And with the addition of the other bulkhead, I expect that I'm going to get rid of all that and it'll be more sturdy than it was before. Now, we'll crawl up in here. And if you look carefully where that black gel coat ends you can see where once upon a time this used to have a bulkhead up there now that mark is just a hair in front of where my stringers ended i did some playing with everything moving things around and where i plan on installing the first bulkhead is right here on this line which is just a couple inches in front of where this board ends on both bulkheads that i'm trying to make on this boat i'm going to try to go ahead and make them in one piece if I have to make them in two separate pieces, I will, but I want them to cover 360 degrees around the boat. I'll have openings in them, but I want it to cover everywhere to give it that strength because they're going to be tabbed in a lot better than what the old ones were. So this will be bulkhead number one, and it is roughly four feet from the front of the bow of the boat. So we're going to move backwards. And we're going to move back past where the original bulkheads were and you can see my other lines that's roughly 12 inches behind the original bulkheads and that's where I'm going to place the second bulkhead and that line comes back and I still have all the space I need for my pedal I even have room to move the pedal forward more if I need to for someone that's a little taller plenty of space I can sit in the seat and I can be sure that my feet don't touch the bulkhead so we're good to go now, I determined the placement of this bulkhead mainly just by feel. I did consider the distance and how far I was running, but I didn't want it too far back to where my feet would touch it. And I wanted to maximize the space that we have up in there. Again, also considering where the ski is going to be. Now, you can see where these two bulkheads were. They are only just two individual pieces. Just like I mentioned on the front one, I'm going to attempt to make this one in one piece. I'm also going to run it across the floor so we have a tie-in from stringer to stringer like we did back with the engine box. Now the way it played out is the very front or bulkhead number one wound up being four feet from the front of the boat. The second bulkhead, again, it ended up being spaced roughly four feet from the first bulkhead. Now jump back to the engine box that I made and that distance from that engine box to the transom, again, it just worked out to be four feet. So you can see a trend here, and I kind of anticipated that this would happen, but every four feet, I'm going to be able to tie in the stringers to one another and have some lateral support. 
This is why I didn't build those lateral supports up here by the front seats yet, because I wanted to see where the bulkheads would lie and where the back floor would lie. This position's already locked in. I can't really affect it. I do have wiggle room for the bulkheads and these lateral supports aren't that important. The only thing I want for them is to be underneath the seats so you can't see them. And it will also help me secure the seats to the boat, just like the back seats. With all that being said, I know roughly where my bulkheads are gonna be. Again, this isn't precise at this point. So I need to jump in there and start templating this out with some cardboard. And then I can go ahead and start cutting the wood and getting them made. I'm gonna make it hard on myself because I wanna leave these old ones in because the bow came down a little when I pulled them out. So I have them in there to hold the bow back up. So I'm gonna have to work around them. I don't really wanna work on the back bulkhead first because that means I'll still have to crawl through it to get to the front. It's arts and crafts time. It's time to take some cardboard tape and scissors, cut up a template, whittle away at this, and I'll bring you guys back once I have my templates made and then we'll start progressing further with the job. Now there's one thing that I did not mention through all of this, and that's when I did the mock-up I went ahead and was sure to mock up the gas pedal. Now, if you look back at the photos of this boat before I started this project, that gas pedal was actually mounted on a 90 degree angle bracket, pretty much in the dead center of the floor. It was also a little too far forward for me because, well, my father is a little taller than I am and I need to bring it back some. But more importantly, I got rid of that angle bracket and I'm gonna mount that gas pedal right to the stringer. Now I'm doing this because before with the gas pedal, it was basically right under the tack. And then once you have these front seats in, which they encroach on the center of the floor, it was very, very difficult for an adult to get up into the bow and grab skis or life jackets. So I'm just trying to go ahead and get that moved over just a little bit and make it a little bit easier. So we have a little bit more functionality at the boat. When you guys are doing these projects, try to pay attention to those little details. Yep, it creates a lot more work. It's a pain in the butt to move it over. Sometimes you have to build new brackets or do other things to make it work. But improving the functionality of anything you have, whether it's your boat or a car, makes it so much more enjoyable to use. It ends up being a much nicer product because you're happier with it and you're not messing with it. So pay attention to the details. In the end, they really matter. Now you can see that I got the first template made for the front bulkhead. Now I say first template because as you can see, I went ahead and made this out of several pieces of cardboard and really just did a bunch of rough cuts and then came back with some smaller cardboard, kind of like poster board thickness and worked around all the edges and did all the detail. I took this template and I later traced it onto another piece of cardboard to give me a more accurate piece where I can fit it in the boat and I'm not working all these sections that are taped together. You can see I made a few edits down here just to kind of close up a gap that I had, but called it good. And this is the template that I'm gonna to use to mark and then cut this wood for the bulkhead. Now this method of using one template basically to refine into another template is the same thing that I did when I built the transom. And really my train of thought is the cardboard is free and the wood is not. I rather spend the extra couple minutes, make one extra template on the off of the other template to make sure it's a good fit before I cut it on the wood and I'm fully committed. A better example is for the rear bulkhead. You can see I didn't have any pieces big enough, so this one is very ugly and just kind of cobbled together. But once I had that template done, you can see that I went and only took two pieces, extra pieces of cardboard to fill this one out. And then I just poked some holes in there so I can grab this and pull it in and out of the boat. So now that I have both templates where I want, I have this whole one already traced out on the wood. I need to go ahead and get these cut out. I do need to put in hand holes like I did on this one before I try to fit them into the bow so that way I can get them out if they get stuck or wedged in there. But also I wanna be sure that when I cut those hand holes, 
I take into account the final design that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out and then I'm going to have to look at it and kind of eyeball what kind of design I want, what kind of access I need, and where I can place those holes so I don't put it somewhere that I end up wanting to keep that wood. So it's time to make more dust and get this cut out. Alright guys, last weekend I was really on a roll. We went ahead and marked out the wood. R really? You just got a lot to say. Nope. All right. Okay. Let's try that again. So last weekend I was able to get the cardboard templates made and I did my rough cuts on my wood and cut out both the front and the rear bulkhead in the boat. Now I was really rolling and I had some momentum going so I worked the front bulkhead quite a bit and I got it fit into the boat. I would probably say about 75, 80% of the way there. Quite happy with the fit. And then I went ahead and cut the rear bulkhead out only on the initial cut and you can see that I have it test fit in the boat and I'm hanging up on the stringer so I can't get it in the position all the way. I need to make more trimming. It was getting late. I didn't want to pick up the camera and really recap what I did and I just ended up abandoning the shop and came back today. So we need to pick up where we left off. So the first order of business today is to continue working on the rear bulkhead. I'm gonna keep trimming it slowly, piece by piece, kind of inching up on it so I get it to fit the way I want. And once I have that fit and position in the boat, I'm gonna go ahead and transition back to the front bulkhead and finalize the fit. I'll tell you more about why I'm doing it that way in a little bit, but first I need to get in the boat, mark where I need to cut this bulkhead, get it out, start trimming it, and I just need to wash, rinse, repeat until I have the fit that I want. That wasn't too bad in the end. I was able to go ahead and finish all my trimming on the bulkhead. I got it cut and I got it installed. Now, one of my biggest concerns with this bulkhead on making it in one piece versus the two piece bulkhead that was in the boat before was whether or not I was going to be able to get this bulkhead actually in position with the complexity of the shape. I'm pretty pleased that I kept a pretty minor gap all the way around all sides and it was pretty easy to get in and out of the boat and get it positioned. Now to position this in the boat, I pulled measurements from the back of the transom up to the bottom on the floor of the boat and made sure that it was equal from side to side so it was essentially squared on the bottom. And then I just went ahead and took a small level and placed it on the plywood and basically made sure that I had it level going 90 degrees to the floor of the boat. Again, this is why it's important to have the entire boat level during this process because essentially everything that you build off of it is built off of that level. So now that I had it in position, I did set the seat back in. I made sure that with me sitting in the seat that my feet are not hitting the bulkhead and that it's positioned where I want it to be. And I'm very happy with where it's at. I also went ahead and took some time and started penciling out where I'm thinking of cutting out the access hole to get up into the bow. Now it's a compromise. I wanted this hole to be big enough to allow an adult to easily get in and out, but I wanted to maintain as much strength as possible. So I think I have a good compromise there. I need to pull that board out and finalize all the lines to be cut. Now I did those lines and marked it out with this in the boat because I want this to look proper when it's installed. Meaning if I were to draw those lines off what I thought was square level on that bulkhead when it was out on the jack stands, it would probably end up looking a little weird in the boat. So with it in the boat, I'm able to draw those lines so they look perpendicular and level to everything because there is some inconsistencies everywhere. And that way the finished product with that opening is going to look proper. I'm not going to have sides that are skewed or a top or bottom that's level or not. So I'm going to pull this board out, finalize those marks and get that cut out. And then I need to go ahead and readdress that front bulkhead. Now, the reason why I jumped from the front bulkhead to the rear bulkhead is because now that I have the rear bulkhead in and positioned where I want, I was able to take a Sharpie and draw a line all the way around the perimeter on the hull of the boat. Now when I take this bulkhead out, I can use those marks to help position the front bulkhead to make sure it's where I want to be. So it's a lot easier to take a tape measure and run it, say, from four feet from where the rear bulkhead sits on the lines that I made to where the front bulkhead needs to be. 
than it would have been to take a tape measure and try to run it all the way the length of the back of the boat up to the front bulkhead, avoiding the existing bulkheads. So now that I have this rear bulkhead positioned and marked, I need to pop it out, make my cut in the center, and then I need to finalize everything on the front bulkhead. I'm gonna get that taken care of, then I'll bring you back, because I haven't even shown you the front bulkhead yet. I'll show you the end result, and then the plan of attack to getting them installed. What you doing? Hey there. Hey Charles. All right, I got both bulkheads finalized on the positioning and fitment. I have the access holes cut into them. Let's crawl into the bow and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so you can see I have a pretty sizable hole on the first bulkhead or the rear bulkhead. And I wanted to leave some meat where it went around the stringers, but I also wanted to keep that hole pretty big. So you can see that was my compromise there. And I'll go ahead and crawl in. And you can see I have the front bulkhead. So you can see that that access hole is quite a bit smaller. I don't plan on going up there quite a bit. Only thing I'll really need to be going up there for is to service the bow eyelet. Other than that, I shouldn't be crawling in and out of that one. So I left more meat onto that bulkhead, tried to give me more strength and more material to tab onto. Now I did go ahead and mark the perimeter of the hole where the bulkheads sit so I have a good positioning of them. And then I also, if you look carefully, did another mark that's about six inches past the bulkhead and that goes all the way around the perimeter. And I also have one on the other side of the bulkhead. So I essentially have a 12 inch band that wraps all the way around the hole. I did that because I need to grind and prep that entire band so that way I can tab these in. Definitely not looking forward to that. So quite a bit of dust I'm gonna to have to make in order to get those ground out. And I'll at least know where I need to grind them. Now you can see those blue painters tape I have marked there on the floor. I measured back eight inches from where the bulkhead is at and made small little marks. Once I grind all that fiberglass, I'm gonna lose my marks in position of these bulkheads. So I'm gonna use those marks and that'll help me position the bulkhead on the bottom in those four locations and then I can just level it up. So after everything's ground down and prepped, I'll go back, reposition them, mark them with a Sharpie, and then go ahead and start getting them positioned. Something, something seems, ah, yep, I know. Trust me, I was just as surprised. All right, so for the remaining work we have on these bulkheads, we still need to go ahead and get them installed with our fiber filler and get them set in place. I need to tab them in with the 1708. In addition, I still have the lateral supports I need to finish. We never got to the battery mount or the place diverter mount. So please stay tuned to the channel. The next video, we're gonna be addressing all those items, finishing up all this woodwork and continuing on pushing forward with this jet boat rebuild. As always guys, I appreciate you for stopping by the channel, watching the video. Thank you for your support. If you liked the video, please give me a like, comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you already did, I really appreciate your support. We'll see you guys on the next one.